Hi guys, my name is Sunbeam and welcome to another video. Right now I have to be a little bit more quiet because at the moment it is 10.45 p.m. But I just came back from Utrecht where I go to university and today my May fairy loot box arrived and the theme of this month is Save the Kingdom. I don't remember what fandoms this box was like amazing for but we are just gonna open it and find out all of the items which are in this box. So I have a really nice mug here with me with some iced tea which is my favorite so I encourage you all to also get a nice drink and just chill out with me in this video and I'm really excited because I know that in this box there will be a book sleeve and I totally need one of them so I hope this one will be very pretty let's open it and see Okay, so the card for this month looks like this, and again, I think it looks so pretty. I love the art style on these spoiler cards always so much. I won't be looking at it during this video, but I will leave all the links to the shops who created all these items in the boxes in the description bar down below. First up, I see this Dolbrek lip scrub, and I don't know what fandom this is inspired by. Okay, so I do want to know what Dolbrek is from, so I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the spoiler card. This exclusive remnant vegan lip scrub is inspired by the Remnant Chronicles by Mary E. Pearson, and I don't have that book series. I know that one of my friends, Yifun Haifun, has um, the first book in this trilogy, and I've heard really great things about it, so mm. Maybe I should check it out. It's a really big container for a lip scrub, so I think I will, it will take me a really long time before I will finish this. So it's not filled to the top, but this is still a really big amount of lip scrub. <sighs> it just smells like watermelon sorbet, so that's nice. It's really harsh, but I'm gonna try it out right now. Mm. And the salt is falling everywhere, or like the sugar, I don't know. It's really nice and soft on my lips. <laughs> I'm trying to sort of like eat it off my lips, but this lip balm doesn't have the overwhelming taste of a lush lip scrub. This is made by Geeky Clean and they have been featured in the fairy loot boxes before and I've loved their products. Next up, I see a Norgard Kingdom of Rhyme box and I don't know what this is. <gasps> A fizzy castle bath bomb, moonstones, and berries scent. And look at this. This bath bomb is supposed to look like a castle and it's all glittery and... Okay, so I can smell it a little bit through the package, but I think that once I open it, it's gonna smell really like sweet and nice and I'm definitely gonna use this. Fortunately, I do have a bath. I was looking at the card, what kind of fandom this is inspired by, but it is inspired by the book which is inside of this box. So right now I know the title, but I still have no clue about what that book actually is, but it smells nice. Next up, I have this card right here, which is a promotional card for Legendary, which is the sequel to Caraval by Stephanie Garber. So we have a coaster in the box and it says, you are your own best weapon, inspired by the winner's kiss by Marie Rutkowski, which is the third book in another series and I am pretty sure that this is created by um, Evie Bookish and I also have another coaster from a previous favorite loot box and that is my absolute favorite coaster ever so I'm really happy to have received another one. We have Throne of Glass wordmark page flags. So I have read these first two books in the Throne of Glass book series so I do know what like word marks are. It says by the word epic quote swoon and plot twist so that is amazing because now you can like sort of put these in your books so this is really awesome if you have like read a book and you've forgotten a lot of the details you can just put these page flags in there and then you can just flip through the pages and sort of refresh your memory which is always good for someone like me <laughs> oh this is really cute but it is very tiny though and this is wake up it's time to save the kingdom english breakfast Tea. This is created by the Tea Leaf Company. It is very tiny. It's like a super, super tiny bag. I think it would have been a little bit nicer if it was a bigger bag. I think you can maybe get like three to five cups of tea out of this, which isn't a lot, but I mean, English breakfast tea is always nice. Next, I have a promotional bookmark of Smoke in the Sun, which is the second book to the Flame in the Mist trilogy by Renee Audier. And then here we have the book sleeve, which I'm really excited for, and it looks so Oh, and it's also like exclusively made by fairy loop so it says fear is only your enemy if you allow it to be and this is like made for or by fairy loot and it's like a really big book sleeve too it kind of looks like an oven mitten when i hold it like this and i love the quote which is on here so i am really happy with this big like uh, book sleeve i mean this just looks incredible and i know that i'm gonna use this a lot. I always bring my books with me from university back home, etc, etc, and then this thing is very much appreciated. 
those were all the items in the box. I've already forgotten the title even though I've seen it. Oh my god, the pages are sprayed. <laughs> Ugh, it's really hard to get out, so I'm just gonna first remove all of the things which are inside of here. Oh my god, this is a gorgeous book. So I have absolutely never heard of this. It's called Onyx and Ivory by Mindy Arnett and look at how cool that is. Like that is such a cool Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna try to tell you guys what this book is about, but I'm sorry if I mispronounce things. They call her traitor Kate. It's a title Kate Brighton inherited from her father after he tried to assassinate the High King of Rhyme. Cast out of the nobility, she now works for the Royal Courier Service. Only the skilled ride for the relay, and only the fastest survive. For when night falls, the night drakes, deadly, flightless dragons come out to hunt. Fortunately, Kate has a secret edge. She is a wilder born with a forbidden magic that allows her to influence the minds of animals? Okay. And it's this magic that leads her to a caravan massacred by dragons in broad daylight. The only survivor, Corin Tormain, the son of the king. Her first love, the boy she swore to forget after he condemned her father to death. With their paths once more entangled, Kate and Corin must put the past behind them to face this new threat of... I think, drakes who attack in the daylight and the darker menace behind them. Acclaimed author, I have never heard of her, Mindy Arnett's new novel thrusts readers into a beautiful, dangerous new world where trust is rare, magic is commonplace, and little is as it seems. I don't know if this is a series, I have never heard anyone talk about this book, but it just seems really mysterious and oh my god, it's about dragons and a girl who is able to control animals' minds, which just sounds like something I've never read before. So that was my May Fairy Loot unboxing around the theme Save the Kingdom. To be honest, the items in here were like okay, except for the book sleeve, which was exceptional. Plus, the book also sounds really interesting. Oh, and wait, I see this really gorgeous artwork in here, which is probably inspired by the book, and I always love it when you get like fandom associated artwork, so that is nice. What I really liked about this uh, box was the lip scrub because it tastes like watermelon. I also like the coaster. It's not like my favorite thing but I like it and the bath bomb was really pretty too but the only things that are a little bit disappointing for me in this are the tea because it's just such a small package and I mean these are nice but they're not the best item that I've ever received. Still, I enjoyed this box very much. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button here down below. You can also follow me on all of my different social media pages. Of course, I have Goodreads, Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address and links to that will be in the description bar down below as well. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!